You are looking at one of the fastest animals on the planet. So fast, you can barely see it in action. Watch closely. What we're talking about are speeds that are almost beyond what we can imagine. Biologist Sheila Paddock studies some of the lesser known speed demons of the animal kingdom, mantis shrimp included. For comparison, this is one of our fastest motions. That takes about 0.27 seconds, sort of an average person blinking. But what we're talking about when we talk about, for example, the mantis shrimp strike, which is happens within three milliseconds, that means it can strike 90 times in a single eye blink. 90 strikes within an eye blink. Now, of course, it doesn't do that because it has to wind up before a strike. Paddock says mantis shrimp produce this super fast movement by storing energy in a spring in their appendage. And you slowly contract this huge spring. And then you release a little latch and out flies the appendage far more quickly than could have been driven by muscles alone. Which amplifies the power of the punch. They use it to crack snail shells and beat up on other crustaceans. And if you rub shrimp paste on this button, they'll punch that too. In this case, it's a force plate. And it tells Paddock how much power they pack. 1,500 newtons. So this is like a stick of margarine sized animal hitting with over 300 pounds of peak force. The acceleration, 10,000 Gs. The space shuttle accelerates at three Gs. So that's actually part of their strategy, is actually to hit with such a high G force that it stuns the animals. And they have another trick up their claw. The movement is so fast that the water actually in a sense, boils. Water molecules get actually pulled away from each other to form an area of low pressure. Which makes a bubble. And the process is called cavitation. And when that little bubble collapses, it emits heat equivalent to the surface of the sun, a really loud burst of sound. Not only that, when the bubble bursts, it also produces force that helps break that snail shell. And if that seems amazing. I think it's amazing too. <laughs> but there's more. Mantis shrimp are actually kind of slow when you compare them to these guys. Trap jaw ants are insanely fast, so they move well over 100 miles per hour. At least their mandibles do. Like mantis shrimp, trap jaw ant mandibles are spring loaded, snapping shut to attack prey or each other. They'll just basically throw the other ant away, or they'll both be propelled backwards. It's kind of like a barroom brawl gone wild. Each appendage can produce hundreds of times their body weight of force. And it's, it's, the trap jaw ants are interesting because it raises some basic questions about what happens when you evolve a weapon that um, makes it almost impossible to control your own body. That's one of the things that interests Paddock. Not only how these animals evolve the capacity for these motions physically, but how they use them behaviorally. Paddock says that in the lab, mantis shrimp seem to use their power to intimidate sometimes. They're scary enough that if, if they're in a bad mood and you walk into the aquarium room and um, they come up, they'll, they'll hit the glass. It can make a really loud whack on the aquarium wall. I've had many people jump out of their skin. There have even been reports of mantis shrimp breaking the glass wall of their aquaria, giving new meaning to the word shrimpy. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.